Our purpose here is to uh, celebrate the history and the rich legacy of Crawford Gym. All that it means has meant to all of us a place where legends were born and national championships were won. You know, many classes were taught here, many pickup games where you could either rock here as a winner or leave out with your head down as a loser, but knowing you were coming back the next day. It's obvious the man who is the icon and figurehead of this program, he did so much for so many years and did a lot of it right here in this facility. He didn't have the frills. Uh, he just had the knowledge, the know-how, and the skill, and some pretty good players to help him along. Please welcome Hall of Famer Denny Crum. Thank you. I need to raise it up. All right. I'll just hold it. Boy, I don't know, when you start thinking about memories, uh, man, I've got a lot of them, but they're all good. Uh, the rules in basketball used to be a little different than they are today. Today, coaches can coach their team in the summer. They get so many days or so many hours with them. In those days, we didn't get any. We had to stay away from them. I, I'm not sure what the exact rule was but we couldn't come in here and and watch I couldn't even walk in that door so I would just sneak a peek or come in pretend like I was looking for someone uh, even if I wasn't and uh, I mean it this place I, you know if you don't have weren't in here when it was 95 or 100 degrees it didn't stop these guys. They played all afternoon and all night sometimes. And they just, that's one of the reasons they were so good because they gave the time and an effort that it took to get better. Yeah, there was a pool here. And when John Drees asked me to, to uh, speak at this today, of course, I was quite honored. My first thoughts were to talk about how bad that pool was and it was bad. But that's a real disservice to what we actually accomplished here. Uh, we started women's swimming. Uh, when Bill hired me, he wanted me to start a women's program. Uh, two of my first girls are on that team. Women are here today. Uh, we uh, sort of feel like that what's going on with U of L swimming, which is unbelievable, uh, but they're standing on our shoulders, we feel that way, and, and uh, we're so proud of what, uh, uh, what the women swimming is doing. And go Kelsey, she swims in a couple of days for Olympic gold, and uh, we're really proud of that. But we were able to accomplish an awful lot in, in that uh, green lagoon, and that sometimes was the, the color of the water. and. Uh, uh, the worst women's locker room in the history of all sports. Uh, but something that happened for our men's locker room, and we thank Coach Crum, is when he was the Pan Am coach, they came in and built your locker room out and made it really nice. Well, then when the new facilities came, our men's swim team inherited the old locker room. So we had one of the best swim team locker rooms in the country. When I got here on campus, the first place we had to go to work out was Belknap Gym. And Bell now Jim, to most of you who don't know that, is right across the street over here, uh, just about the size of maybe a third of this basketball court. But not long after we worked out, out in Bell, Bell now Jim, they said we're going to build a new place here called Crawford Jim. And they called me one day to come over with Dr. Philip Davison to break the ground for Crawford Jim. I put on my one tie, my one shirt that I had, dress shirt, came over, took a picture, and Kenny Klein's got to find that picture for me. But the way I knew it was happening was because they had a big dirt pile out next to Stevenson Hall where we lived. And at night, we had nothing to do, so me and Charlie Johnson, football players and basketball players, would go play king of the mountain up on that dirt pile that they were building here for Crawford Gym. I took boxing lessons. We would jump rope here and run at night, uh, myself and Craig Hawley. You know, we come in here and we, we did take the famous ballet lessons. You know, coach told me I needed to work on my coordination, and he got, me, got it set up. We took ballet lessons in here. I did to help myself improve and get better. And I think that's one of the things that we all 
got from Crawford Gym. This was a place where you came to work and develop and get better and improve yourself to help the program and help us be successful and move forward. And I think everybody that w was a part of that really appreciated and embraced the atmosphere here. First came here when I was in the eighth grade. Uh, me and Bobby were playing down this end of the gym in, in, the, in the noon league. Uh, we always came out to watch the Colonels play and the University of Louisville play because the Colonels was on one end. They had a big curtain to go across and, and the Cardinals were on the other end. And me and Bobby I always envisioned ourselves being able to, to come here and play one day. And then Coach Houston at Mayo High School, uh, he was a high school coach. He would get in touch with Coach uh, Olsen and Coach Jones so we could scrimmage the JV team. So we were scrimmage the JV team on it. This was the B side. You had, to, you had to be serious to get on the A side. And we would scrimmage the JV team so after the first scrimmage, and we ended up beating the JV team. So they had to have a rematch. So Coach said, we're going back out there and play. And at that time, all the varsity players came and watched us beat them again. And, and uh, that gave us the pass, me and Bobby, the pass to go over to the, uh, to the A side to start playing. And that's, that's how our history started here. I would like you to know how much uh, the players and I in particular appreciate all of you being here uh, and to share this with us. Any money that's raised from this will go to my scholarship foundation which is to help kids go to college and that's what we do here. This is a university and it's the way it should be.